Hi Survivors, this is me Prepper Zan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. Today I want to talk to you guys about the severity and the seriousness. I know I talk about this a lot on this channel. I do place emphasis on weather uh, and water and agendas. Today I'm talking about the weather and I know this is something we've been discussing more now than ever because of all these crazy weather fatalities and these weather related events. But I don't want people to take these things lightly, y'all, because this is something that's happening all over the world and it's happening more now here than ever. And it's displacing people by the millions. It's, it's affecting the grid. And a lot of people have, are not prepared for it. A lot of people were not prepared for it when it happened. And so we have to keep our minds fixated that this is something that would happen, could happen. And if it doesn't happen in your area, you're really, really blessed. But I wouldn't take that lightly because you just never, never know about it. So it says prepare for troubling times and applying the guidance of God's servants. Uh, America is convulsing with weather extremes and western states mega drought conditions and mega fires destroyed thousands of acres of land, homes and unpended lives where the drought subsided, rains increased, but the welcome relief masqueraded petrifying floods converting streets into rivers producing destruction and death. Dallas Fort Worth was slammed with what meteorologists described as a one in a thousand year event after more than 10 in inches of rain dropped on the area in less than 24 hours on August the 22nd. Some locations were inundated with up to 15 inches of rain. By press time, a 60 year old woman succumbed, succumbed when her vehicle was swept on up in deep moving waters, reported media outlets. Emergency crews responded to hundreds of high water related calls, including rescues and flooded cars and homes. Climatologists call the pattern unusual and record breaking and record breaking, but not unique. It's very unusual, but I wouldn't actually call it unprecedented. John Nelson Gammon, a Texas and a and m climatologist professor told the final call. This is the final call paper that I'm reading to you now. Now, what I want to talk about in regards to weather, the weather in Texas, a lot of people be always telling me when I'm in New York City, get out of New York City, get out of New York. And I do understand it. Don't get me wrong, because it's a city full of full of agendas and it's a silly city full of full of crimes a city full of people and we do know that in these cities y'all that they're the worst place in the last place that we should be if we're trying to survive any type of catastrophe catastrophe whether it be weather related anything these agendas these people usher in or whatever the case is but also in rural areas we have to also be care careful with a lot of flooding a lot of weather i'm telling you because when i was in the country last year um a rural area where one of my properties are located, y'all. It was a bad tornado hit out there. It was like a record-breaking bad tornado. There were so many people who died. I saw we, we, it was houses that was that was flown from where they were all the way to the other side of town. Cows, horses. I seen this. It's no joke. Speaking, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about also this flooding, like in Texas. Texas is is. It's a place where there's a lot, a lot of bad weather, a lot of flooding, man. I have lost so much in the floods. A lot of people, the South, that area period down there in Louisiana, they have to migrate to Texas because it gets so bad. That whole area down there, Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, y'all, it's terrible. And when I was looking at the survival map, for locations to be or to relocate if you're really trying to survive this ugly fall. They were saying like with Texas, some of my uh, prepping friends who are like ex-veterans and stuff, and they really on top of what's going on. They were saying that it's not, it may not be a good place, you know, in regards to uh, surviving the fall because of the weather, because of the, all the floods. That's like how they speaking about this 10 inch rain that hit Dallas, y'all. This stuff happens in Texas all the time, but now it's more intense than it's ever been the work the the weather everywhere is everywhere is really more intense than it has ever 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 been and then when the grid are going the, when the grid is going down a lot of these places y'all that grid stay down for a long long time and the water is instantly nasty and if you don't have the things you need if you don't have a lot of water supplied up i'm talking about water on top of water you know, you're in a lot of trouble because you cannot trust the city water. 
You can't even trust the city food. So this is a, these are things that a lot of people are going through right now. Y'all, this is going to get worse. This, these things are not going to get better. So we might as well just brace ourselves. Even if you found yourself living an alternative way of living now, you may be in an RV. We have some of the fellow survivors who are like in, like in their RVs. They're living in their RVs. Some people are living in their cars now. You know what I mean? We have to just find ways to do things that will um, keep us surviving. If Even if we're not in a home or whatnot. You still have to take cover if you're in an RV when these storms attack. You still got to have the things that you need. So this is like a new way of living for everybody. It came uh, up on us so abruptly. Nobody would have known when 2020 came in, we would be facing all these things that we've been facing and that we would continuously have to keep on going through so many different hardships. But all I can suggest is just keep praying, keep prepping, keep preparing. You know, don't give up. This stuff is not easy. This stuff is heavy. People are losing their homes, not just from the weather, but from this inflation. People can't keep up. People are losing their jobs. Y'all, this stuff is tanking quick. So we just have to stay prayerful, try to stay prepared as much as we possibly can. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please follow me on my other platforms. The links will be in the description. Please brace yourselves for all this calamity by continuing continuing to store as much food as you possibly can, continuing to grow as much food as you possibly can, and continuing to look into investing in land. I think land and, and, and precious metals are going to be the thing that's going to keep us surviving independently. I, I really do, do feel that way because with land, you'll be able to grow your own food, you know, and then with precious metals, you'll be able to get some of the things you need. I think the whole monetary system is falling. And I think it's very important to fixate our minds on how we're going to be able to eat in the future and how we're going to be able to have water. I mean, those two things are like the main important things on my mind right now for doing these ugly agendas. And in this world that we're living in, like how how am I going to eat and feed my family and be able to have water? You know what I'm saying? Everything else don't even matter to me no more. You know what I mean? So I hope this video will help someone. And uh, please support the Allegedly and the good luck with that t-shirt. And if you're looking for land and bug out areas in Texas, I do have some for sale and for lease. And as always, watch this world. Please watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil your water before you use it and keep surviving.